Time. There is a, a view, and we've heard this from some, some Fed officials in the last couple of weeks, that the chip technology or the AI technology will move faster than HR departments. And so there will be an air pocket where you wind up, you know, where jobs, yeah, they may fill that, that vacuum, but in the, there might be a couple of years where it doesn't feel that way. You know, I, again, I think, uh, Carl, we're all looking in the crystal ball to see where the technology is going. Um, I will say that, you know, right now, the way we should think about it is, you know, AI technology, deploying AI capability is really equivalent to getting more intelligent and more capable. And so there's, there's a, a huge attraction uh, to doing that. It's actually a business imperative. And I think for um, the labor market, it really is about embracing the power of the technology and then using the, um, the ability for, to increase productivity going forward. So I think we're all very optimistic about what the technology can do. You know, obviously, you know, part of this is ensuring that, you know, we all as CEOs also reskill our workers and make sure that there's this big education um, effort that goes along with it. But at the moment, I think we're feeling um, extremely um, optimistic about where the technology is. And what I'd like to say is we're still in the very, very early innings. So think about it as, you know, this is like a 10-year cycle, and we're like two years into a 10-year cycle.